Good afternoon, or good evening. How's everyone doing in uh, YouTube? Uh, Dave here. We're coming up um, another segment of uh, Farming 101. Um, you might notice the camera's a little bit off, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing it from the top of the hood. Here, maybe I can put the iPhone in there to equalize it. There it is. That, so, look, looks a little bit more level. Um, I haven't been out for a while, but um, not because I didn't want to. It's just that it's been been kind of hectic, personal wise, uh, political wise. Um, but as far as the farming concern, everything's been pretty quiet here. We've we've uh, managed to cultivate the land again. We allow it to rest for about a month, um, which is normal. It's something that should be done. Uh, if you're a farmer, you you would know what what I'm talking about. Um, we're in the process of planting onions again. Our, usually our specialty is uh, yellow corn, onions, and um, once in a while, sunflower seeds. Uh, but our specialty is watermelons. Premium grade, premium grade A watermelons, homegrown here in Central Texas, Lago Vista. Pickles Farms is where we get the best watermelon there is. There's some other farms further on towards the southern part of Texas and uh, western part of Texas that um, also grow real, real good watermelons. But um, that, 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 that's another company. Um, but here at Pickles Farms, we, we do grow one of the best premium made watermelons, seedless. Um, but right now we're just growing onions. I, um, I had just recently gotten over another COVID-19, which is my second one. I, I, I believe there was a video already provided on that one, but, but, uh, but then I got under the weather, just an ordinary, ordinary cold, not, nothing to do with COVID anymore. Um. Because there's always a change of weather here in Central Texas. There's always a change of weather. The weather's always changing around here. Um, it gets hectic. Um, there ain't too much for me to show you about because they're just empty fields. As I said, we just barely finished planting the onion seed. It's not the same as the watermelon. When, when the watermelons are planted here, they already have about an inch and a half of a plant in it. But um, we're birdie. We, we, we birdie planted, so it, it's going to be till maybe calculating that the weather cooperates. It'll probably be... Um, Hopefully before the year is over. We're already on. Um, we're already on on uh, the middle part of October. Next month is uh, November, and then December. Yeah, uh, a month after the year is over. I think that, 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 that's pretty much it. Um, Hopefully the weather co uh, cooperates. Now you got to realize that onions are very—it's a very tough plant. It can withstand cold temperatures. It will not freeze. It's very hard for for a, an onion to freeze, and it's, it's it's in a situation where it's severely cold. And I'm talking about something in below zero ranges. Then, then it would probably.
I'm hearing a vehicle pass by, but this whole area is private property. Unless it's the irrigation district. No, it sounds like an ATV. There he goes. ATVs are allowed here as long as they don't interfere with our, our planting. Um, we had a bad problem back then where ATVs got bored of running those hill countries, you know, uh, just, just, just west of us. They wanted to run the, the farms. Um, but as long as they don't destroy our property, that they, we, we allow them to have their, their own adventure. And they stay on the public roadway because private property, uh, properties where we have is private property. Anyways, coming back, um, I've been on a constant daily monitoring, and, I, and I'm going to go off topic because this has got nothing to do with the farm. But um, normally I would take my vacation in September. I didn't take it. Um, I've been hoping that the Philippines border would open for tourism. So I can go see my, my fiance. She's in the Philippines. She lives in Cebu. Her name is Edelin. I have not seen her for a while. She's around. I, I see her on on our social media status, but um, it's going to be, what, about two years? It's going gonna, it's gonna to come up to two years, almost three, since the COVID began that I have not been able to go to the Philippines anymore, and, um, and, I'm, and I'm seeing my young kids grow, grow up. Anakwa is a very, very small baby, and, uh, and now he's 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 grown, he's grown a lot. Um, place is still as wonderful as it is. It's beautiful. It's green country. It's tropical, pretty much. Um, but I'd hope and pray all my subscribers get out there and pray so we can try to get the Philippines open. So it, it's not just me, but I'm sure that there's hundreds of thousands of of Americans and British and foreigners that have girlfriends, fiancés, and wives and daughters and relatives in the Philippines that they they have not been able to reach because their status is still as a tourist visa. I would have known there was a pandemic going on. I would have married my fiancé. That would automatically make me a Filipino resident under un, under the dual citizenship. Then I could have come and gone to the Philippines whenever I need to. But unfortunately, that that hasn't occurred yet. So, um, anyway, want to send a special special greetings to my fiance. Edelin, hang in there, girl. This pandemic will be over soon, and we can bring our our lives back to normal. But um, anyways, that's all I have to say for today. There's nothing going on. We just finished planting. Um. We're expecting a cold front. It hasn't arrived. It's a very, very, very slow cold front coming in, but it's been a couple of days. That's why the wind is blowing from the from the southeast. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, I don't know what. Um, I'm gonna go and shut this thing down. You all still maintain your special distancing. You all take care of each other out there. Wish uh, I wish I wish to I wish a special greeting to all my su supporters and subscribers, um, my family members. 
Yeah, recently, I, I had a family there, so it's, it's, it's been a little awkward. Um, one starts to think about life and death, and it's like, we all got to go there someday. But anyways, God bless everyone around the world. Whether you're my friends or you're my enemies, I won't know why you'd be my enemy. I, I like to be friends with everyone. Stay close to your family that we are coming into very thin steps of the future where things are going to get harder. Inflation, just as it is in here in the United States, is, is bad. Inflation is going up. Um, a lot of people are not very happy with our current president. Uh, he's very, very, very unpopular. Um, but um, I, I don't get involved in politics, so I, I, I'm not going to comment on that part anymore. Take your family and keep them close and take them to the Christian church of your choice. And until next time, may God bless everyone.